Chad Cathy from Absolutely Fabulous and we're going to talk about Chalk Paint by Annie Sloan. Chalk Paint is a very decorative paint. It can be used on all kinds of things. A lot of people like to paint furniture or mirror frames or picture frames or all kinds of things around the house. And believe me, once you start painting with this, you'll go around your house looking for things to paint. But one of the other purposes of the paint is for outdoor things. So I bought a little planter in kind of a faux rust color and a simple terracotta pot and I painted them using two coats of a color called Provence. Uh, it comes in a little project pot, nice, nice and convenient for little projects. I did two coats of paint on here because it is going to be outside and I didn't really want any of that kind of rusty look to show through. And then I gave it just a light coat with a, a clear wax. And I use the clear wax again just to give it a little bit of a protection, but also to give it just a little bit of a sheen. A little hard to capture that on the camera, but if you were to feel this, you'll feel there's kind of a nice smooth polish to it. And then just to make it fun, I took a little terracotta pot. I painted it in a color called Henrietta, which is just a sweet kind of an off little pinky purpley color. And I just thought that would be a really nice contrast to the Provence. With the terracotta pot, you're going to just do a simple coat. You don't wax the pot. You want the moisture that's going to be from the plant or from having it outside to be able to find its way through the terracotta without bubbling the paint. If you wax it, you tend to create a bit more of a barrier. And in this case, with terracotta being so porous, we don't want that. We want the pot to be able to dry out when necessary. So it's so simple. This is like a three minute project. I'm going to do this pot in English yellow. Nice cheerful color for the spring that we're not quite having yet in Nova Scotia. Nice bright yellow. Take my brush, hold my pot. You don't immerse your brush in the paint. You really don't need to. You just dab. I've got maybe a quarter of an inch and my brush is slightly rounded so it kind of grabs all the bristles on this is a boar's hair bristle brush are all split and they grab a lot of paint so there's a lot of paint here my one pickup is going to do about half of this pot and i'm just going around it i want a nice kind of clean line on this i've done more than half the pot with one little pickup of paint There we go. I've left the bottom clear. Again, for the same reason, I want the pot to be able to breathe as it gets rained on or watered. I don't want my paint to blister. I'm gonna put it here to finish it. And what I want to do here is just finish the top so that I can just have it a little bit more of a finished look. There you go, that's simple. If I were to do this, I would just take the same brush and I'm going to kind of dab all around it and give it a different look. And that is exactly how I finish this. That's a little garden project for your spring. So we've painted our little flower pot. It's all dry now, it took about 15 minutes to dry. And now we're going to put a little stencil of a flower on it. These are a little sticky stencil. Because the paint is a flat chalk paint, the stencil doesn't want to stick, so I used a little painter's tape to hold it. I'm going to use a little color called Henrietta, which is a little bit of a mauvey pink. Squirt a little bit onto my wax paper. Dab my stencil brush. You just want to get it kind of smooshed in there a little bit, but with stenciling you don't want an overabundance of paint, so you're just going to dab it a little bit off. You're almost dry and you're just going to stipple it in, hit it as hard as you can. Very therapeutic if you just want to take out a little bit of frustration. Start stippling and stenciling. So I'm just going in to cover all the color. You don't want to use too much paint because it'll go down underneath your stencil and kind of leave a blurry edge. I'm going to carefully pull that back. Now I've got a sweet little stencil. And because I want another one, I, and I'm going to do it in the same color, I'm just going to gently lay that stencil down. 
Not going to press it on this side because I don't want to touch the paint. Going to pick up just a little bit more paint. Dry it off again because I almost want a dry brush and just stencil it again. It's just like a little stabbing motion. You just go up and down. Pick up a little more paint. No, oh, I'm just gonna get that little corner. And there we go. I've got a sweet little flower pot. I'm gonna let that dry and then I can put it in my little bicycle planter and put my flower in and it's just sweet. Little project for outside. One note, when you're working with stencils using the Annie Sloan chalk paint, the paint will stain the stencil really quickly so you want to wash it off really fast otherwise you're going to build up layers of paint over time so I just get it wet a little bit with some water or a squirt brush a squirt bottle if I had that and just clean it off. And that's important because you want to be able to reuse your stencils over and over again. There'll be lots of projects. There you go. Nice spring project.